Bonjour, everyone. Bonjour. I made myself a saying it. Yes. It's Rhino. And Craig. And we are here in the France Pavilion at Epcot in Walt Disney World. And we're here today to see a brand new film debuting this very day. Yes. And what is the film? The film. The film. What's the film? It is... It is, I'm having to duck down to your level. There, you go. Uh, there we go. Uh, the film that we are about to see is the Beauty and the Beast sing along. Mm. So it is neither of our first times seeing this. No, no. Unfortunately, we have said that sounded rude. Uh, yeah, it sure did. Because actually, I have a lot of positive things to say about this film after we're done watching it again. And after, gosh, I, my hair is wild in this video. It's windy today. It is very windy. Uh, after we are done watching, we're actually going to come back, and Morgan's going to be joining us to also share her thoughts. We figured she'd be a perfect person to join us on this one, uh, considering her love of the princesses, and I believe uh, Belle would definitely fall into that category. Yeah. So she is wearing a dress, and uh, another character wears a dress in this film. I'm not going to tell you who. We'll save that for the end of the spoilers. But before we get to that, we just wanted to remind you that this video is sponsored by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you're looking to plan a vacation to any Disney destination, definitely hop on dreamsunlimitedtravel.com and get a free no-obligation quote. So, with that being said, let's head inside to the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Uh, uh, yeah, we matched the tone there. So the first time we did this, we were both all over the place, and that time I feel like we harmonized just very slightly. But hey, we finished with Beauty and the Beast sing along, and now Morgan's here, and she's gonna tell us she's gonna tell us what she thinks about Beauty and the Beast sing along in just one word. Delightful. Oh yeah. That's very informative. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you said one Please. word. Thank Please. you for watching yeah. this video. Uh, if you yeah. like the channel, oh, subscribe. Sorry. Thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Morgan, what, tell us what you thought of it. I loved it. I thought it was adorable, charming, delightful, all of that. Um, it was really good. Very good to beat the heat. I'm totally blanking. Um, I like that it was a sing along, and they were very encouraging of you singing. Hence what they were doing. Did you sing in your show? A lot of people did. It was a really good, and it wasn't just like little kids. It was adults like really committing to it, American Idol auditions up in here. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed it. I love the part when Mrs. Potts calls the adults out and is like, you know that you're just going to um, move your mouth, but no words are going to come out. So kids, make sure that they sing. I loved that part. I thought it was humorous. But yeah, do we want to talk about the show? Yeah. What happens in it first? Yeah. When, what's the actual, uh, what's the plot line here? It's not just like scenes from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just randomly singing along. Yeah, it's exactly. That's what I thought story. it was going to be originally, like way back when. Yeah, because that's kind of how it is with Frozen in a way. It's a retelling and, you know, it's, but that's also done from a, a twist in a way. But you're still seeing the story as it plays out. This, the Imagineers took their inspiration totally from a lot of the reimaginings they've been doing with Disney movies. Fortunately for our sakes, they did not uh, decide to use the reimagining of Beauty and the Beast as their emphasis on this movie. It is classic animation. Don Hahn was brought in to help with the new scenes. And the entire it's show two, that you 2D see, animated too. Yeah, 2D animated. Yeah. The entire show is brought to you by the perspective of LeFou, actually, in a way. It's, it's his take on the story because what we didn't know is that LeFou is actually the uh, centerpiece. He is the... He's the, the cog, master. the puppet master. He made everything in that movie happen, and we just didn't know. Mm -hmm. And so we see it all play out from his eyes. Like, for instance, the beautiful yellow dress that <laughs> Belle dances in. And he made it. With the beast. He actually made it, and he tries it on oh, at one point. Hilarious. Yeah. And, uh, and then when they're watching them dance in the... Um Tell his oldest time scene. He's there, like, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not that person that cries. And it's yeah. it's all fun. Yeah, he brings a lot of the humor into it. So when it cuts away to the songs, it's pretty much it's the play out from the movie that you know and love, just with the words at the bottom. Then there's just these random cutaways with Lefou in it. Like my favorite one is when they're storming the castle. I wrote it down on my phone because the line is just hilarious to me. It's it's so it unexpected, is. but it lends yeah. so perfectly. So yeah, when they're about to storm the castle, he goes in his little voice and like, it's Gaston, and of course the singing Frenchman, and they brought a log. <laughs> and it's just like, it was perfect. it's just this little humor inserted, and you know, it's the all the voices that you love, 
Angela Lansbury came yeah. back to narrate it. I think that's probably my favorite part yeah. about it, where that starts right away and you know doesn't miss a beat or anything. Yeah. You know, I Good. actually enjoyed it. I do not like singing in there, but the only times I've seen it so far, no one else is really singing. They're just uh, they are slightly mouthing it like I church singing like. And then turns into a snowman, which is kind of like a throwback to the live action, which is a throwback to Josh Gad, which is Olaf. It's a stretch, but it's there. Oh, <laughs> it you're stretching. Stretch. Yeah. That was stretching. I immediately thought of it. So. I, um, I think what, what's cool about doing the, the video the way they did it, though, it does give, like, um, you know, uh, you're a parent or you're somebody who's seen the movie before, it kind of gives you that reason to see it because it's like, oh, that's that's funny because it's not, like we said, it's not that scene that you're used to. And if you are very familiar with it, even if you haven't watched it recently, you'll still, they use those kind of iconic scenes and it's that, it's that like kind of just humorous, like funny twist on it, you know? So, I think, I think families are going to love it yeah. for the most part in the place. While I would like more of a balance between that show and Impressions to Front, I'm, I, I'm actually, I, it, I think it's enjoyable for what it is. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah I, I will see it again, I know, at some point in time. Me too. Uh, and I, yeah, I think a lot of families will just really get a kick out of it, so I recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. That's our thoughts on Beauty and the Beast Sing Along. If uh, you're excited to see it, let us know in the comments down below about it. And uh, if you have seen it for some reason already, go ahead and tell us what you thought of it. We really want to know. And of course, all that other stuff like hitting the thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. So that's going to do it for this one. We will see you again in another video very soon. Until then, bye.